Hello everybody, my name is Sean Powers and today we're going to learn how to manage the locate database or sometimes referred to as the, the update DB or the update database, also sometimes referred to as mlocate. Usually that's the actual program that's running on a server, but this is the way that you can search for files quickly on your Linux file system. The advantage of using something like this is let's say there's a tiny little file on your system and you really want to find it but you don't know exactly where it's located. Now you could use a, a command like find, but find on Linux will search the entire hierarchy of the file system and it takes a really long time. If you use a, something like the update database or the locate database, you can quickly pinpoint exactly what you're looking for and catch an ant on fire. No, and find the file that you're looking for very, very quickly. So it's a lot like in OS 10, they have like the spotlight feature. I think Windows has like a Windows search feature that does the same sort of thing. It's basically just a database of your file system so that you can quickly find files. Now here I'm logged into an Ubuntu system and I have a terminal window open. Almost every distribution has the locate database installed by default. And basically how it works is you just type what you want to look for. So locate, uh, I want to search for something with DHCP in the name. And it'll give you almost instantly an entire list of everywhere in your file system that has DHCP in it. So if you're looking for a DHCP.comp file, you could do something like locate DHCP grep comp. And you'll see here are all of the files that have DHCP and confidence. Like here's my DHCP client.conf file, and this is where it's located, and then you know what to edit. This is really useful if, you're, if you don't know where a configuration file is stored, you can search for it like this. Now, this is managed by a cron job that runs every night and gives a, a, gets a, an update of the database of all the files on your system. There's a problem, though. So here we have nothing. Let's say if we create a file... Okay, so here is an important file.txt, but if I type locate important file, it's not going to find anything. And that's because the database is only updated once a day. So you may run into the problem where you install a package and you instantly, you know, you want to configure it, but you don't know where those configuration files are stored. Thankfully, you can update that on demand by typing sudo update db, one word. You do that. Of course, it's going to prompt me for my password. It's going to go through. Sometimes this takes a little bit longer if you have a big file system, but mine ran almost instantly. And now if we say locate important file, it's going to find it. It's going to say, oh, I know where that is. That's in the home S powers documents folder. So running update DB will allow that, that database to be updated so you can search for a file. That, I've, I've used this off and on. And like I said, usually it happens when you install a package and then you want to search for those files that are installed by that package. However, by default, it will not index a mounted network file share. So if you have like your home directory mounted over NFS, it won't search your home directory. It's very frustrating. Thankfully, there's a really easy way to fix that. So go ahead and edit with your favorite text editor. I'm going to use VI, etc. Update DB Dot com. Now, if you if it's not stored in this location, you could always use the locate command to find where updatedb.conf is stored. All right, but go ahead and type this, and you're going to get this configuration file that has some options. Now, the first one, prune bind mounts. Prune means don't don't read. Now, bind mounts are it's a longer discussion that we can have now. It's basically just referencing an already mounted point. So it's okay to leave this as whatever the default is. Uh, prune names. If you uncomment this, it's not going to index files that end in these certain file extensions. Don't care about that either. Prune paths. If you don't want it to index the temp directory, which is kind of a good idea, you would edit it. You, you would add it here. This is a list of places that are not indexed by the update db command. This, on uh, this last one, prune fs, this is saying what file systems do you want me to ignore? And that's where by default nfs, nfs lowercase, nfs4, these are ignored by the update db. All you have to do is delete these entries and now it will index the nfs files. Now it's still not going to index samba shares or sifs shares. It's not going to index SSH file shares. So you have to look through here and see if there's other things you want to uncomment as well. But those NFS things, if you delete those and then save the file and then run sudo update db, it's going to index all of 
the NFS shares on your system as well. Notice it took a little bit longer because it was searching through NFS shares as well. Now that's all it takes to tweak the update database or the mlocate database. And if you need to run it on the fly, just type that sudo update db and it'll update that locate database. It's just a really convenient way to find files very, very quickly. That's all it takes to manage your locate database on your Linux system. It's not something you need to do very often, but in a pinch, if you want to make sure that you're finding the files in the most efficient way possible, a lot of times manually running update DB is the way to go. I hope that this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.